three finals to play, that's bringing the players down. First up in the Shield final, please welcome from Ireland, David McCullough. Introducing the players here for the finals of the shield competition, the plate competition, and then on to the main World Masters final. opportunity now to mention to all of you watching if you like and share this video you'll be in with a chance to win a Taylor Bowls bag prize donated here by the Belfast Indoor Bowls Club bowl shop so don't forget like and share this video if you're in with a chance if you like and share the video from uh, the post from earlier on you'll be another opportunity trial ends here so as Simon said there the final will be played over 12 ends so for those of you that have been watching all day that's the only change for the final 12 ends will be played so they're going to have their trial ends Good support here. We've got one over 100 people still in attendance here watching the final, which is really good. And we've got close to 200 of you watching live at home, so thank you all for joining us. For those that have just joined us, don't forget if you like and share the video, you'll be in with a chance to win a set of, uh, sorry, a, uh, a Taylor Bowls bag. having the trial ends here. Don't forget, let us know where you're watching from. 
who you think is going to win. So as well as going for the World Masters title, Ed has already secured the Order of Merit trophy. So that's already £250 in his back pocket. And we'll just wait for these players to play their last trial end here. They will be underway. 12 ends, remember, for the final. Thanks, Lee, from Northumberland, watching the final. So the players come through some really tough matches so far this weekend. Alan's had two matches that we've seen so far today where he's been two down going into the last end and picked up a big three. Ed's had a really good run to this final, beating some Top players such as John Quinn and Raymond Stubbs along the way. Right, here we go. We're off and running now. This is it. Don't forget, I can see all the comments here, so... If you have got any questions, please let us know. Hi, John. Thanks for tuning in from Nova Scotia. And a few people from Canada tuning in. So. First start from both players, good lines for both. Eddie's playing with Aero Maxim Bowl, so they'll take a very wide line. Alan's playing with Greenmaster Phoenix Bowl, so from what I've seen, they take a decent load as well. Alan's got a phenomenal record uh, <coughs> events here in Belfast. He's been in Six events before this and won three of them. It's pretty unbelievable. You can see why. And the crowd here will give both players good encouragement. We'll see some really good bowling. Last season's World Masters final was one of the best that I've seen. Between Ian Hobson and Gary McNabb. Nip and tuck all the way through. Sure, this final will be fairly similar. Yeah, just saying there, he's playing with the Green Master Phoenix Bowls, which are certainly a new. Different bowls that I've seen before. Oh, great bowl, Alan. That's brilliant. Hi, right, Ben. Can't quite see all of your message there, but I'm just saying how many entries were there. We have 288 entries this weekend. here Ed. Oh he's rocked it up but not quite enough there so it's still two to Allen here. So yeah back to the how many players we've had here so 288 players they were split off into 48 groups of six and we've whittled our way right the way down to the final two here. Close 
close again. Oh. <laughs> so two shots to Allen on the first end. Other games on in the background there. So the plate and the shield final and the bronze medal match. For those that haven't got their sound on, I'll just show the scoreboard here. It's confirming two shots to Adam. Good start from Alan. That's the perfect start. Winner receives the World Masters Trophy and a check for £1,250. Runner up will receive a silver medal and £625. Hi Stuart, no Alec Martin is not here this weekend. Thanks for tuning in for all of those that are watching now. Don't forget those that have just joined us. If you like and share this video, you'll have a chance to win a Taylor Bowls bag. Good bowl from Ed there. Let's just move the jack back to his own bowl. I'll look to confirm that for you, Jill. All the information will be up on our website within an hour after this match is finished, so you'll be able to see who will be representing Wales and all the other countries at the World Cup in August. We're here at Belfast Indoor Bowls Club. Good effort there from Alan. I can tell you that uh, Ed will certainly be representing England at the World Cup. I believe he'll be joined by James Trott, Mark Chittup and Alex Clay. So England have never won the World Cup. Looking to change that in August. Ireland are the defending champions. And again, you'll be able to see who will be representing all of the countries on our website in about an hour. I'll give you an update on the other scores, Catherine, when we I'll get down the other end. Big draw round. You see, Eddie's playing with Aero Maxim, so we certainly better draw around the front here. Drop on to the back bowl, drop in for two. He's on a good line for it. That's his pace. Just the pace. So, one, two. Ed, two, one. tell you that Martin Harris is 2-0 up on Shane Hand. Arwell oh, Morgan is 3-0 up in his match against David McCulloch. And William Boggs is 2-1 up against Andrew Jones. 2-1 here in the World Masters final to Alan Paul. Bowl from Ed there, a bit of adjustment from his first. Good reply from Alan, very good. We'll 
obviously a positive on the forehand, push his own bowl up. Be a bit wide for that. A bit of a loose one for head there. See what he was after. Changes Ed's shot really into the last bowl of Evans. Still plants his own through the shot bowl. Yep, just indicating that he's playing a bit of weight. Looks better here. Good effort. I think we'll see Alan take this. Yeah. Yep, taking the one shot, very wise. So, Alan goes out to a 3 1 lead now. Three ends. Don't forget we're playing 12 ends in this final. in there, three, one. Don't forget, if you have got any questions, please let us know. I'll try and get those answered for you. And all of our rankings will be updated within an hour of the final bowl being delivered here. So we'll be able to see where we stand at the end of this season. Yeah, no, Timothy, that sounds like a perfect Sunday evening to me. Draw now. Not far away. Yeah, he's got this run. Oh, very good. Perfect pace. And it's great to see so many of the players have stayed behind to watch this. Just trying to G himself up there. That looks to be better green here. Hmm. Well, there is, a, there is an opportunity here. Could get all three bowls out. Take a really good shot. <laughs> what we say, Ned? Yeah, right. That's a good bolt. Phil being very efficient there and uh, chalking the bowl, even though it was the last bowl of the end. 3-2 uh, now after four ends to Adam.
Thanks for the comments there, guys. Yeah, really good weekend here in Belfast. I hope the League of Warrior went well today, Tony, back in Essex. Good start for Med. Although still plenty of room for some of the Valens quality. He's not far away. Yeah, he's drawn it. Very good. Sits down as well. Yeah, very good. Tell you that in the match between Martin Harris and Shane Han, it's currently oh, just waiting for the score ball to be switched over. It's in a 6 2 to Martin Harris over Shane Hand. Arma Morgan's 5 0 up against David McCulloch, and it's 6 1 to William Box against Andrew Jones in the bronze medal match. Certainly wants to make sure he's behind the jack with this one. Give himself an opportunity with his last ball. Yeah, it's good. And he's just looking at what shots Ed will potentially play. Oh, it's given Ed a bit of a shoulder to use. I think we'll see a positive shot from Ed here on the forehand. Yep, just nominating his play and a bit of weight. Very good with these shots, Ed. Trying to tie a row through that. Didn't want to be tight. That was the one thing he didn't want to be with that. Might be two now. Thinks it, think it could be two shots to run them. He's got to be a little bit careful. He's sticking to the forehand. Very wise. Doesn't want to play the... It's good here. Very good. Good pace. Looks like three to me. Three shots. Good end for Mellon. Six two now. Five ends played. So I don't want to bounce back here. Go, six two, five ends. Cracking start again. Not with the players favouring this backhand coming down this way. Taking a decent green. I don't remember to push it. It's good again. Oh, it's very good. with 
Bowling short with your first bowl, leaving yourself a bit of work to do, and just blocking yourself out. Forget those that have just joined us. If you like and share this video on Facebook, you'll be entered into a draw for a bowls bag. You'll be able to post it to you if you are an overseas player. Don't forget if you are watching from abroad or even in the UK, let us know where you're watching from, who you're supporting. Good ball from Ed there. Winner will walk away with the World Blasters trophy and £1,250. Runner up with the receive the silver medal and £625. Is currently 6 2 to Adam. And we're playing the sixth end here. 12 ends to be played in the final. Ed's going to play a left handed shot here. Close. That's a great ball. Left handed. So one shot to Ed there. It's better than my right hand. So six three now after six ends. And so some players do struggle playing weight on their backhand, so that's one way of defeating that. I can tell you that Martin Harries is 7-2 up against Shane Hand. But Arwell Morgan is 6-1 up against David McCulloch. And William Boggs is 7-1 up against Andrew Jones. And the other matches that are taking place. The other finals and the bronze medal match. And great bowl again from Alan. Nickname Pricey. Yeah, good ball from that. He's moved it out, which is what he's wanting to do with that one. Good again here. Yeah, very good. See how wide Ed's bowl was there. That's coming right the way back. It's given Alan a chance here though. Drop him for free. Just joining us, score is currently 6 3 to Adam Paul. And Adam's holding 3 here, he's playing with the black bowls. Last bowl of the end for Ed. Adam's still got one to come. It's a big bowl, this. He needs to get in now. Looks a bit better. Still just hanging off. Yeah, it's 
enough for the shot. Oof. He was worried that wasn't going to come back. Clocked himself in as well, so uh, Alan might just try and roll the jack through for two or three. And a good road for it. Close here. Great ball. Absolutely perfect. Three shots. Yep, three shots. Brilliant ball. Ed just left himself vulnerable there. Alan took full advantage. So, nine three, seven ends. Ed's got to dig in here, play the way he's been playing up until this point. Other scores are when I get down the other end. We're only playing 10 ends in the other matches, 12 ends in this particular one. Yeah, good ball. It's not giving Ed much breathing space here. Keeping the pressure on. To do. He wanted to get his own bowl, push it back. Just asking now if he's still down, which he is. It's just a one. Looks to be on a good road here. Just needs to hang up a little bit. Yep. Good bowl, Adam. Very sporting, just saying well bold. Thanks all of you that are joining in. This is almost a record for us, 430 people watching live. Great to see. Don't forget, let us know where you have to join us, where you're watching from. Who do you think is going to win this match? It's currently 9-3 to Alan Paul. Chance for four here. Got to take this opportunity to get back in the match. Looks like it's two at the moment. Chance for three or four. Oh, has he pushed this? Has he pushed it? Be in for free, but <coughs> oh, the Jack was what he was after there. Yeah, two shots. Missed opportunity. So nine five, eight tens. Kevin, yeah, I certainly wouldn't bet against that. I, I think I said at the time when he managed to sneak through that game against Nathan here <laughs> earlier today. Sometimes you feel someone's named on the trophy. And a similar 
situation in his match with Andrew Jones. Yeah, good hit. Sitting a big yard away from the Jack in the ditch. Yeah, it certainly was a big chance, I feel, Richard. I mean, just needed to reach the Jack. Any movement was good. Oh, you're right. Good to see you watching. Hope you and Sharon are keeping well. Oh, is it ever a big chance? Plenty of room now. Oh, he's left himself a bit of pressure. There's still two shots to Alan. <laughs> William Boggs won the bronze medal against Andrew Jones. That's 9-6 uh, to Martin Harries against Shane Hand. And 7-1 to Arwell Morgan against David McCulloch and the other matches that are taking place in the plate, shield and bronze medal match which is being won by William Box. Big bowl is for Eddie, he needs to get in there. Dropping a three or four here probably will be the end of the match. Well, it might have crept in for second. Another one here. Not flick a bow and run as well. Oh, well, might have got away with it. So one shot. One shot to Allen. So still in this. Could have dropped a big end there. Just one shot in the end. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that end's given up, Ron. I just think it's easily done on these mats. You just think you've pushed it enough. Allen's playing very well. Putting Ed under a lot of pressure. Ed did have that one chance coming back this way. And again, just it's a bit short to it. Looks a bit, sh a bit short again. It's just a fraction of pace. to force errors out of his opposition. Just putting you under pressure all of the time. Better here from Ed, the pace. Yeah, that's good. So a bit, uh, a bit slower here than what the players, for, especially from England, will be used to. And certainly Norway and Sweden. So a lot of the Irish players very used to these conditions. Play with very big bias bowls. 
a little bit of a mistake for that. He's just pushed this ball over, looking to drop around it. Might still be holding though. Forehand over the weight. Looks good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <coughs> Cheers, Ben. It's uh, been a really good weekend. We started with the Belfast Open pairs on Friday. One by an Irish pair. Carpets would be considered well, medium pace at best, really, compared to what we're used to playing on in England. So, one to red, 10 6, two ends to go. Martin Harris came through in his match against Shane Hand. They certainly be slow from what, what match you're used to playing on, Ron. But they have certainly played them a lot slower. We are looking to come up with a scale for the pace of a, a carpet. Something similar to the what they use in golf for measuring the speed of the greens. Uh, thanks for the question, Wayne. The players here are using. Well, Ed's using the purple Aero Maxim bowls, and Anna's using Green Master Phoenix, which is a new one on me. <coughs> uh, hi, David. Thanks for joining us from Australia. Heads not out of this here, picks up a two or three here, gives them a chance on the last end. And then I'm just going to take a bit of a breather here, come down and have a look. Thanks for joining us, Wayne, from South Africa. I've had a few players watching from South Africa so far this weekend. It was great to see. So the players here are playing for the World Masters <laughs> trophy and £1,250 for the winner. 625 for the runners up. Oh, it's got a chance here. Runs this jack back. He's got the back position. Jack! Jack! Come on! Yeah. Oh, that's a good bowl. Unfortunately, I think he's left. a 
lot of space for Alan. This is for the World Masters title here. Draws a shot here, that's the title. He's got it. Yeah, that's the World Masters title. 2019, Alan Paul. Yeah, Ed. <laughs> Great final. Alan just on top all the way through that, really. Just put a, under a lot of pressure. I'll just stay online a, a minute here or so, so you can say your congratulations to Alan and commiserations to Ed. I'm sure the players will appreciate seeing your messages. It's a opportunity for me to say thank you very much to all of those who have stayed throughout today to watch us and watch the matches here. The players certainly appreciate it. I know we do as well from the, on behalf of the Short Mat Players Tour. Thank you for joining us. So just stay online another 20 seconds or so. Let you post your messages. And as we say goodbye for another season. We'll be back again for the World Cup in August. And it's the August bank holiday weekend. The World Cup will be followed straight away with the UK Open. So we start again in August. And don't forget, if you do like and share this video before tomorrow, you'll have an opportunity to win a bowls bag from Taylor Bowls. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you all again in August. Just keep an eye out on our website. From about an hour from now, you'll be able to see the World Cup I might try and stay with you here. I might try and see if I can cover the... Oh, still one more match to say, just one more match to finish off over there before we do the presentations. What I might do is actually just jump off here and I might come back with the presentations as a separate video. So those that want to watch the presentation videos, I'll just see if this the match ends at the end here of this match. Yeah, this could be the last end here, so thanks for all the good wishes from all of you out there. Really do appreciate it. As I was saying, we have we'll have the rankings updated on our website within the hour. We'll have the World Cup spots confirmed for all of the countries that have got teams that have qualified for that. The order of merit will also be updated. And if you're just curious about our events, haven't seen what they're all about, or you've seen the final here, they're open to anyone. Anyone can take part in these events. Right, I'll jump off now and we'll come back for the presentations. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you again soon.